Hi there again. In this video, we're going to be developing the Swiss Ruff. Uh, I believe it's called the Swiss Ruff because uh, the Swiss had something to do with its development. I'm not sure how true that is. Anyway, so the page is called the Swiss Ruff. By the way, if you guys are looking for the, the PDFs, just drop me a mail and I'll send it to you, no problem. The, my email address is somewhere in the description of the video. Uh, just check it up, drop me a mail, and I'll send you the PDFs, no worries. Right, so the Swiss Ruff, um, different from the, the sort of standard hand-to-hand -hand Ruff, where we play basically single strokes, hand-to-hand, -hand, and now we, we, uh, we're putting the double stroke in the middle, so we're going single, double, single. I'm calling this one the right-hand Ruff, it's, it starts and ends on the left, but it's got the right hand double. That's the right hand rough, Swiss rough. The left hand rough reverses that. What's the left hand double in the middle? Right. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to base it on the paradiddle. Because the way your hands move in the paradiddle, it's a paradiddle uh, with one extra note onto the next beat, right? The way your, your, your hands and your sticks move there, uh, is very close to what you're going to be doing in the rough. So you're just going to take the paradiddle, put up a bit of a gap between the, the first note and the the left, right, right, left movement, or in the, the other way around, if it's the left hand paradiddle, and we're going to start increasing that gap until we've got a, two distinct sounds, a tap and a rough. Okay, so I recommend that you don't just climb right into this exercise. Warm up first. Warm up with the paradiddle. You should all be able to do this. I'm, I'm assuming that you've got some uh, experience, knowledge, you, you know, you're not a noob. Um, you've been drumming for a little while and you should have this going. That shouldn't be a problem. So spend a bit of time warming up the hands, watch your sticks, try and get the, uh, the heights of the, the sticks all the same. Try and listen to that even timing. Make constant adjustments. Keep your hands nice and relaxed. Keep them bouncing nice and high, nice and freely. And again, as I've explained in some of my other videos, we don't want to be forcing anything. As soon as you start squeezing, you feel that you have to um, exercise that, that uh, excessive control and you start to play like this, just slow down, back up, start again and just make sure you're getting work with the rebound. Your stick got to be bouncing up, that's where the magic happens, always on the up. The stick must be coming back into your hand at every, every opportunity. Okay. And the accents are not overdone. They're not these massive giant strokes that we sort of squeeze in and hit the blazers out of. They're just a slightly higher stick lift with a nice free action. So spend a bit of time, get your paradiddles going. Then get to the exercise. In the first one, we're working in line eights. We got three groups of uh, three groups of three uh, quavers. Uh, it's just really it's one two three two two three three two three one two three two two three three two three one two three two two three three two three. It's all based in line eight, uh, and you'll see the reason why now. So we can isolate just the one movement. So we're just going to focus on the right hand paradiddle, uh, starting on the third beat, going on to the first beat of the second bar, very slowly. It's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. That's one bar. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and there's all three. You can count it over you like. You can go one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, or you can go one triplet, two triplet, three a triplet. Doesn't matter, just keep it accurate. 
uh, and slowly build up some uh, confidence and speed. So let's run that bit. Let's run two bars of 9.8. So we're going to count in in three, after three. And one, two, three. One, two, three, two, two, three, paradiddle three. One, two, three, two, two, three, paradiddle three. Two, three, two, two, three, paradiddle three. One, two, three, two, two, three, paradiddle three. Right. So now when we go into the next line, what you might want to do, uh, if you've never played the rough before, is instead of widening that gap to the point where it's we're producing the exact notated triplet value, within the 9-8 triplet. You can slowly, incrementally increase that gap. Um, might work for you, it might not. Uh, so we take the, the paradiddle again, paradiddle stop, paradiddle stop, one E and a two, however you're counting it. Uh, and play the right note and very deliberately put a little bit of a gap in and let the other notes kind of drop in but still in a controlled fashion. So don't worry too much about timing when you're first getting it off. Put a little bit of a gap and a little bit of a breath of air. And then try to make it fit into the exercise. So I'm going to do it as it's written. So I'm going to try and stick to the, the, the note values as they are. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So your rough happens between two and three in the third beat group. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. And if you're looking for an, uh, a way to discipline your, your timing, take the double out of the rough and just play the two left hands on either side of the double and stick to the timing. So we're going to go one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. And think about what that left hand is doing. And then we're going to put two completely evenly spaced notes on the double between those two notes. The one, two, three, two, two, three. So again, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three. So you're thinking about, you're thinking on that left hand. So let's run that line a few times. After three, one, two, three. Okay, so let's play the whole exercise, four bars, getting to end. I'll, I'll do it twice through. After three. So it's one triplet, two triplet, three triplet. One, Okay, if you really take take the time to, to master just that first exercise, those, those eight bars, and uh, build that up to some um, a quicker tempo, you'll find the rest of the page will go so much easier, and you'll get through it much quicker. Uh, I'll play it through now. Let's add the flams um, to that first one. So I'll keep the tempo the same. I'm just going to drop flams in on the accents. Okay, after three again, and one, two, three. Wow, don't be too relaxed. Hmm? So that's one with flans.
Let's do it on the left hand now. Always go back and, and uh, switch the hands around. We want to keep our, our drumming nice and balanced. And usually, if you're like me and most other drummers, your left hand gives, gives you a bit of problems. Uh, so you, you're probably going to need to spend more time doing the left hand one than the right hand one. So anyway, as here's a playthrough of the the, the left hand. Um, I've called it the parallel to rough exercise. The 9-8 uh, third line from the top. After three. And one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, one. Okay, let's put the flams in. After three, one, two, three, and flam, two, three, flam, two, three, flam, and little three, flam, two, three, flam, two, three, flam, and little three, flam, two, three, two, three, flam, rough, flam, two, three, flam, two, three, flam. All right, and then just very quickly, uh, once you've uh, once you've really got this thing going, you're going to want to take up the tempo. It really plays well fast. It's great to get this thing going. At speed, and uh, think of it in um, uh, in stress bay or jig um, tempo. This is a nine eight. It doesn't matter. We're practicing the movement, and we're going to take it up to about this speed. Left hand, two, three. Sorry. And that was the rough. Okay, and put the flams back in there, all that good stuff. Uh, okay, uh, in the next set of exercises, I've gone over into 12 8. Uh, so we're going to be doing, uh, so it's four triplet groups, paradiddle. Normal triplet, normal triplet, normal triplet, and then it swings onto the other hand. So we get to do both in the same line, just quickly running through that one. It's in 12 8 after 4, and 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3. And again, as we did with the first exercise, we're just going to transform those paradiddles into the rough movement. Okay, so both lines of the 12 8. And one, two, three, four, and. Parallel three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Parallel three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Two, three, one, 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 two, three, one. Cool. Um. All right, I'm going to go straight into the next one then. Eh? The twelve eight, right below that. Now we've got a parallel every second beat group, swinging from right to left all the way through. Okay, I'll so I'll do this one twice through twelve eight time again. And one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Right, I'll just do a quick playthrough of A again, followed by B with flams this time. I'll keep the tempo more or less the same. And a one, two, three, and a four, and a... A 
that's why you wrote the slip up there. Uh, and B with flames again. And a one, two, and a three, and a four, and a. Right, and again, just keep on going until you get it right. Choose your own tempo, uh, stick with where you're comfortable, and slowly build it up. And perhaps the most important thing is don't ignore, uh, say, the left hand right. So you, you, you're battling to do that one, and don't say to yourself, oh, well, we never play that one in our drum scores. Uh, we're always going like this. So why should I learn that one? Well, you learn it not because you're necessarily going to play it, but because you're teaching your hand to do something that it can't do. And you should always practice what you can't do rather than what you really can do. Yeah, it makes sense. Right. Next one. So uh, in this in this first uh, two bar phrase, all I'm doing is, is um, uh, I'm getting the hand to move as it would do without the, the, the double in the middle of the row. So in this one we we we're doing the rough onto the beat, and so there's gonna there's gonna be an accent on the end of the rough, just defining where that beat is. So instead of the the rough in the middle of the beat, that one two three one two three one, we're gonna one two three one. We're gonna aim for the beat this time, and it's important that you that you teach your hand to do um, to get the basic shape that it needs to be in to get these things right to get the sound right. Okay, so the first one, uh, very slowly, it's just one, two, three, 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 right, left, left, two, three, right, two, three, left, right, right, two, three, left, two, three. So we're just teaching that that soft, loud tap, which is going to be the way the rough is going to feel. It feels the same as this. Okay, so uh, I'll do both lines. Uh, I'll do once through A, once through B, after three. And one, two, three. Okay, so just to give you the basic idea there, uh, in the last exercise, we're just combining what we've just done with what came before. So we're doing the trip, uh, sorry, the rough to the beat and the rough in the middle of the beat all combined in the same exercise. And you'll see in the first line we're going back to the paradiddle but this time we're putting a, a, a slight accent in the end of the paradiddle as well. So we're going paradiddle, paradiddle da, paradiddle three, one, two, three. It all makes sense when you play it. So I'm just going to play the first line for you. Uh, 12 eight again, so after four and one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. One, two, three, 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 one, two, three. And uh, pay close attention to how you're timing the rough. It's all about where the rough starts, and it's got to start on three. One, two, three. So don't don't fudge up the timing. Get it right. One two three one. One two three 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 one two three. Yeah, that's a bit exaggerated. I didn't quite get the sound there, but it's more about the timing. And if you're battling with that, then exaggerate the note slightly. If you're battling with timing. So rather do this. One two three one two three one two three one two three one. So program your hands into the right timing and then try to bring in the feel. Okay, but do what works for you. You should be able to do it any, uh, in any given way in any case, whether you're playing those loud, soft, uh, crescendoed, not crescendoed. Okay, uh, so I'll play through the whole thing then, the paradiddle line and the rough line, 
so you can see how it all fits together. After four again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, parallel three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, parallel three, one, two, three, two, three, one, 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 two, three. Alright, and you do the same thing with that as you've done with all the other ones. Start where you're comfortable and build up with tempo. Um, this uh, rough movement is it's a tricky one to learn at first. But it's probably one of the more rewarding movements because eventually you get to a point where you're no longer playing it as uh, three deliberate strokes. You're not sort of uh, engineering your way through it. You're playing it with one action. So now you've transformed that into that. And it's a lovely little movement. So you can use it as a little filler. Um, it's uh, something to spice up the drumming a little bit. Uh, it sounds great in the core. And um, yeah, I highly recommend that you go through this page, master the movement, and start using the rough. It's, uh, it's not as hard as it seems. And um, once again, have fun, and uh, see you next time.